Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about how it can more quickly pull uh, Google Maps links to the addresses um, of all the assets in your tapes. So I've talked about before how you can do this one at a time. Um, if you're only doing a handful of assets, that works fine. But uh, if you're doing larger tapes, in fact, um, recently I bid a tape that had almost 50 assets on it. So looking up each individual address on Google Maps wasn't quite going to work. So if we take this one, for example, and we look it up, you know, kind of the normal way. Oops. Come on back. You know, if you look it up the normal way, that works fine. Um, but it's a little bit of a slow process. What I want to point out to you is the format of the URL that Google Maps uses for these. So if you notice, you've got HTTPS colon slash slash www.google.com slash maps slash place slash and then it has the street address, comma, city, comma, state, comma, and zip. And then it's got all this other gobbledygook and GPS coordinates that you don't actually need. So if we were to take just this portion without all the other stuff, and you can, don't worry about the pluses, because Google Maps interprets the um, pluses the same way as a space, so that's going to come in handy in a little bit. Um, we still get... To the same place and it auto fills all of the other stuff so that's what we're gonna leverage here so if i want to create a link in my spreadsheet equals um, p slash google.com slash maps slash place so maps is plural and place is singular okay so I've got that portion right now. Now when I want to add on the address, we use the concatenate function. You just put ampersand and then this cell. Now we can add on the street address. But now we need to add in the city as well, but we need a comma in between. So to add in the comma, we need another ampersand. because so we're saying we're adding another value here. In this case, it's one we're typing in and not one that's referencing a cell. Um, and then to get the comma, to have Excel recognize the text, we need parentheses around it. I know this gets a little complicated, but bear with me. Once you get the formula down, you kind of have it, and you don't have to worry about this anymore. So we go parentheses, comma, parentheses. So now we've added that comma, but now we simply keep going. Ampersand city, All right? And now you should see the pattern, so ampersand comma, ampersand, state, ampersand, comma, ampersand, zip. Okay, so now we've got this whole address that will work within Google. Um, but you notice this link isn't clickable. So to make it clickable, we need to turn this into a hyperlink. So we're going to go back in here and edit this and add in the hyperlink command and then put parentheses around everything we want hyperlinked. Now at this point, we've got something we can click and this should take us to this property on Google Maps. Which it did, great. So that works. And now all we have to do, if I got some big long tape, is just drag this down and now I've got the links for all of these. So it's pretty easy to go in and click one by one. Um, and open them up and look at what you got. Now, if you don't want to remember that and type that in all the time, which even, I mean, I have a hard time remembering that. I'm not going to do that. What you can do when you set up a tape is just, if you always put the address city state zip in columns A, B, C, D, or whichever columns you want to reference, then you can take an existing spreadsheet that has this formula and you can just copy paste that in. And it'll work. So, for example, I can take this formula here, copy, and let's just say there's another worksheet. Let's just say there's another tape. Copy. As long as they start at the same place. Um, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go the other way. I wanted to actually not copy the cell. I want to copy this text, put it into this cell.
don't know why I made that so complicated. Now that works. So now if I have some new tape, I can just copy paste my formula and everything works. The only caveat is, you know, I've got this formula set up. It's referencing cells A2, B2, C2, and D2. Um, I've just got to make sure that the spreadsheet I'm copying that into has everything in the same places so the references all line up. And you can get the, uh, the links just like that. So anyways, hopefully that helps. Hopefully that um, saves you some time. And I will uh, see you next time. Thanks.